What's going on guys? Today we are going to learn how to use sodium. The reason why is because I did a video about showing you how sodium does help with boosting performance, but I never did show you how to actually set up sodium so that you can get the best performance out of your Android phone or your Android gaming handheld. So the very first thing to take note of here guys is that we are going to be using the mobile glues renderer because this render is a really good renderer for anything above 1.17. Sodium only works for 1.16 and above however I highly recommend you just to play anything above 1.17 for sodium to work with fabric mods. Now we're going to go home we're going to select our installation file and then you're going to subscribe and check out my other videos about how to use Zalith Launcher on your Android phone because Zalith Launcher is a really powerful Android Java Minecraft launcher. Yeah, that's what it's called. Now I'm going to install a new version and I'm going to install the latest version as of today, which is 1.21.5. I'm going to select fabric. And then I'm going to select the latest version of Fabric. Then I'm going to select the Fabric API and the latest version of the Fabric API as well. I'm going to name this 1.21.5 Sodium just to keep it simple and straightforward. Now I'm going to download this and wait for it to download. And of course, I am logged into my Microsoft account or any of those YouTube ninjas that want to try to take this video down. I own a copy of Java Minecraft and I've heard that other people have been having issues because YouTube doesn't know how to do things. Now we're going to navigate to 1.21.5 Sodium, click on return, and we're going to click on this little download icon on the top right hand side right beside the gear icon. You're going to go down to where it says search platform, select the drop down and change it to modern. Now because we've already installed the fabric API, we're going to install all of the necessary mods that I like to use for Sodium which is obviously sodium itself, select the latest version. Now go back, go back, go to cloth config, and you're going to just download all of these mods that I'm gonna be showing you here today. So entity culling, very important here guys, is that you pay attention and you actually follow along. Now this works for me, these mods work for me. Mod menu is very important as well. And if it doesn't work for you, then maybe you should pay attention because I try to do this as easy as possible. Now, as you saw there, we did a video about how to install mods for fabric in the past. And yes, you have to install the placeholder for the mod menu to work. Let's install lithium and we're going to just follow along with all of the mods that we need here. Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe again if you haven't already done so. It would be really cool if the channel reached 100 subscribers before June 12th. I don't know why June 12th just sounded good to me and that's a number that I just decided to pick. Now Modern Fix is one of those ones that doesn't work for 1.2, 1.5 and people say it works for 1.2, 1.4 but I have never really found it beneficial to use in any regard. Dynamic FPS and you'll get a notification when that mod doesn't actually work for you as you see Indium here doesn't work for anything above 1.2 1.1 sorry I left all of those mods there and now we're gonna go down to where are we now more culling is the last one and obviously this is all up to you but these are the mods that i like to use and the mods that work for me very nicely i'm going to use lambient dynamic lights just because that is something that i like to use and i'm going to use it after the fact anyways and sound physics remastered on this amazing android device okay i am using my actual personal phone here today but yeah, that's just up to you what you use. I think Android gaming handhelds like I have are a lot better. Now this notification will pop up saying, hey, you're using Sonium, it might cause some issues. Just click on the checkbox and click on confirm. Now we're going to boot into the actual Minecraft Java edition. A big note here guys is that Sodium is not going to fix your device if your device is a very low end device. Sodium is here to help you with changing different settings within Java Minecraft to get a little bit better performance but it's not to fix your potato 
device that you have now click on options click on video settings and you can see here guys that we have all of these extra settings here and obviously it depends on your device i'm going to start off with like seven render distance simulation distance i'm going to set that to 12 so that my crops grow and i'm going to change my max frame rate to unlimited so i can see what kind of frame rate i can get i'm going to go to quality start off with fancy and if i find that fancy is just too much i can crank it down to fast for certain settings like the clouds and stuff like that how often do you look at the sky entity distance that is something that is all up to you but i like to change this down to like 75 to 100 percent for my device particles i set that to decreased you can turn them all the way off if you want to turning them all the way off sometimes is very beneficial for some devices and it does help a lot mint map levels set it to two you can change this all the way you want it does actually tell you hey these actually you know changes your performance by a medium impact okay some of this stuff does tell you this basically has a, a low impact particles has a medium impact and so on and so forth make sure you take note of that guys and go to your more calling section and take note of this as well now you can change things in here as well if you want to uh, i don't really touch any of this you can change if the animations show up change your particles uh, basically change which particles show up your render and your extras that is just basically so we can show our fps and that is about it now again here guys there's so much you can do while you're in the game but i'm just going to jump into a world brand new world and see how fast it loads for us because it is really awesome again guys to be able to play java minecraft on the go because i don't want to bring my five thousand dollar pc setup with me anywhere at any given time <laughs> as you can see here guys we are already inside the game and we're getting some pretty good performance okay this is pretty decent we're getting 120 fps and we got some sheep loading in so it's great to see that we have some animals and we're on 1.21.5 and i'm not even using this phone's performance mode right now this phone has a performance mode which is uh, game space and it allows me to actually boost the performance if i want to but honestly with the fact that i'm getting 120 fps at a seven render distance is pretty dang good if you might add and that's about it guys there's not much more you need to know about adding sodium and dynamic lights and all that kind of stuff other than just tinkering with the settings until you get a stable performance now of course depending on your device again your device it really really does matter and if your device is really low end and doesn't have like different performance settings and thermal throttles a lot and all that kind of stuff then your device might just not be any good to actually play java minecraft you might have to you know play bedrock i'm sorry so enjoy my little sodium video that i taught you how to you know set up sodium with zalith launcher with because my last video is more performance video and this one is a full setup guide have a nice day guys of course you can download fabulously optimized if you want to too but this is more of a raw way to set it up in java minecraft or your android thank you for coming by don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share if other people need to learn how to use Zalith Launcher.